Hello everyone, so I am here again with another lecture. Uh, uh, so as we have already discussed about uh, mean uh, using all the three methods, so today our discussion is going to be about mode. Okay. So what is mode? Mode is the observation having the maximum frequency. That is what I have written here. Now what does that mean in simple words? That means that it is the observation that occurs for most number of times. Okay. What does that mean? This means suppose uh, we have taken the example of uh, goals scored in 10 football matches. Okay. Suppose Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi scores goals in this way in 10 football matches. In the first match, he scores 2 goals. In the second match, he scores 4. In the third match, he scores 3 goals, 2 goals, 3, 1, 2, 0, 5, 6. Okay. In this 8th match, he didn't score any goal, unfortunately. Okay. Now, what is the mo mode of this data? Okay. Now, mode is the observation which occurs most often. That is for the most number of times. In the first match, he scored two goals. In the fourth match, also he scored two goals. In the sixth match, oh sorry, seventh match, also he scored two goals. So that here you can see two is occurring for maximum number of times, right? So that is your mode. The mode is the maximum, uh, is the observation which occurs maximum number of times. That is the observation which occurs most often. So for this data, mode is two. So hope this is understood. Now, it's not so simple because as we have discussed uh, in mean, they will uh, give you data which will represent a particular range, isn't it? Which will represent a particular range that we call class interval. So here, our job is to extract the information out of the data in such a way that we will not be able to identify the mode directly, isn't it? Because we have a data where we have range. Uh, one... Uh, Seven families, uh, I have taken a distribution here. Seven families are having family size from one to three. It may be one, it may be two, it may be three. Eight families are having family size three to five. So it may be three, four, five. It, uh, we don't know. We, we cannot specify the exact data, isn't it? So we have an interval, interval which is specified. Just like what we did in uh, mean, when we were doing mean. So when we have an interval, instead of calculate, in, instead of knowing the mode, what we know is the modal class. Okay, modal class means the uh, interval in which the frequency is maximum. Lo we can locate a class with the maximum frequency. Now check. This is the frequency number of families. So seven, eight, two, two, one. Which is the maximum? Maximum is you can see obviously maximum is eight, isn't it? So maximum is 8. So modal class will be the class corresponding to the frequency which is 8. So which is 3 to 5. So what will be the modal class? Modal class will be 3 to 5. So this is the modal class. As it is called, the, as it is the class interval or the class which is corresponding to the maximum frequency. So maximum frequency is 8. And the you know class interval or the class corresponding to the maximum frequency is 3 to 5. So 3 to 5 is your modal class. This is clear. So once you have extracted, uh, once you have recognized the uh, modal class, now your job becomes fairly simple. You Now you are asked to calculate the mode. How do you calculate the mode? You just use this expression. Mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. H is obvious. H is the size class size 1 2 3 3 to 5 5 to 7 so what is the class size h is obviously 2 you can see from here what is l l is the lower class lower limit lower limit of which class of the modal class so what is the lower limit lower limit is 3 so l will be equal to 3 find lower limit plus f1 f1 is the frequency of the modal class what is the frequency of the modal class? You can see it is 8. So, 8. Now, what is a, F0? Obviously, 1, uh, 0 comes before 1. Isn't it? 0 comes before 1. So, F0 is the frequency of the preceding modal class. So, 0 comes before 1. So, preceding means this one, 7, 7. Divided by 2, F1 is 8 minus F0 is already 7. What is F2? 2 comes after 1. 
सो एफ टू इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द क्लास सक्सिडिंग द मॉडल क्लास सो दिस इज द मॉडल क्लास सो फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द क्लास सक्सिडिंग द मॉडल क्लास इज टू फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इन टी सो टू इन टू एच वी ऑलरेडी नो इट इज टू सो नाउ दिस कैन बी सिंपली कैलकुलेटेड थ्री प्लस आई हैव वेरी लिटल स्पेस लेट मी ड्रॉप दिस आउट so this will give you c plus 1 divided by 16 minus 9 into 2 so this will be c plus 1 divided by 7 into 2 so this will give you c plus 2 by 7 so this will be um, 21 plus 2 by 7 that is 23 by 7 so have i done any mistake here Hope it is correct. So basically, let me cross check it again. Okay. So, um, so this is how we calculate the mode. So hopefully it is clear. Because uh, I, I was saying that have I made any mistake or not? But uh, I think it is clear enough. Uh, we we haven't made any mistake. F one. You just have to remember the expression. L is the lower limit of the modal class, which is three. F one is the Frequency corresponding to the modal class F not is the uh, F zero is the frequency corresponding to the preceding mod uh, preceding class that is seven uh, and F two is the frequency corresponding to the succeeding class that is two isn't it isn't it so uh, after having uh, expressed this eight minus seven is one two into eight is sixteen minus nine so it will give you One by seven, so two by seven. Three plus two by seven will be seven. Three is a twenty-one plus two, twenty-three by seven. So anyone can divide twenty-three by seven, isn't it? So this will give you around three point two seven seven eight. So around three point two eight will be the modal class. Okay, so you can keep it like this also, twenty-three by seven. It doesn't matter. Okay, so hope this is clear. Now. You just have to remember the expression. After that, it is uh, if you have understood what modal class is, you know, what frequency uh, maximum, uh, you know, frequency is, then you can do. Now, it's not necessary that the mean and the mode are exactly equal. After all, though they are two different entities, sometimes it may happen that the mean is equal to the mode, or sometimes the mode is less than the mean. It may be greater than the mean. Okay, uh, we cannot specify. So when is this mode needed uh, physically? When is this mode required? Now, if we say, if you want to know the average marks of a student, of all the students, average marks of all the students, then you remember we calculated the mean, isn't it? Now, if we say average of the marks obtained by most of the students, you just try to get the difference. Average marks of the students means average of all the students. average of the marks obtained by most of the students this is the most of the students right this is the observation which occurs most often average of the marks obtained by most of the students are you understanding so here that is why we are considering the observation which occurs most often isn't it so most of what is the average marks average of the marks scored by most of the students in that case we will calculate the mode so it is just uh, you know you uh, change of words here and there but it has a very very uh, special and serious meaning so hope you understood our discussion on modes and modal classes this is very important please go through it uh, the more you do the more you understand okay so in the next class we will discuss about uh, median so till then see you thank you